Thinking Cap Publishing presents A Witch's Tale A story written and read to you by Dave Cap. I'm shy. Now, I don't mean your run-of-the-mill, get-flustered-by-an-awkward-conversation kind of shy. No, I legitimately forget how to speak. All the time. In school? Forget about it. Even if I know the answer to a question, I won't raise my hand. And when the teacher does call on me, I have to repeat myself half a dozen times until they can hear me. I'm Pixie, by the way. Well, my real name is Jen, but actually, no. My real name is Pixie. I'm 14 and a freshman in high school. I have long, wavy brown hair and hazel colored eyes. School kind of sucks. It's probably because I have no friends. Believe it or not, but it's pretty hard to make them when you don't speak. I'm a huge horror nerd. I love it all. Slashers, psychological, found footage, those ones where their little girl is possessed by something. If it's scary, it's for me. So, back to the whole having no friends thing. I have a crush on this guy, Jaden. Of course, I've never said a word to him. But... I do know he's also really into horror. Let's just say I have good hearing. Also, because of that good hearing, I found out that the carnival was in town and that Jaden was going on Saturday. At first, I thought nothing of it. I had just bought all the Conjuring movies and was really looking forward to watching them over the weekend. But then, it occurred to me. What if I went to the carnival too? Maybe we'd run into each other. Maybe. It took all of my courage to head to the carnival on Saturday, and when I got there, wow, the lights were brilliant, the smell of fried dough and popcorn nearly made me drool, the clowns walking on stilts made me shoot soda out of my nose, but I couldn't find Jaden. There were just so many people. At first, I was sad, but only for about a minute. See, it's really easy to have fun when you're alone if you're always alone. So I was wandering around the carnival trying to walk off the four fried Oreos I just scarfed down when I came upon this tiny shop. It looked totally out of place. Like, here are all these food stands and fire eaters and rides that were all certainly violating at least one safety code. But there it was, tucked away in a tiny quarter, hiding from the laughter and cheer. The shop was so black that it may have actually been made of coal. All except its door, which was a vibrant purple. A glowing green light emitted from its only window. It seemed to pulsate. At first, I thought it was some sort of LED light, like the ones people use on TikToks, but when I stepped over the threshold, I saw an enormous cauldron bubbling underneath the fire, the rippling flames tickling its sides. Hello? I called out, even though I could see that no one was there. The only answer I received came from the bubbling cauldron. The shop smelled sweet, but rotten at the same time. It was like someone had planted a bed of roses on top of a garbage can after lunch period. There were a few necklaces displayed near the entrance that looked really cool, but none of them were priced. I don't even know if they were for sale. Masks decorated the walls and each wore a different expression. Dusty bookshelves filled with what looked to be ancient tomes cramped the shop, making it hard to walk around at all. I went to see if I recognized any of the books, but no, I couldn't even make out the titles because the book's spines were all so dirty and faded. I decided to take one of the books off the shelf to get a better look. Who knows, maybe I would have found something to add to my collection. Ever so gently, I opened it and was shocked at what I saw. The entire book was empty. Every single page was blank. You won't be able to read that book, my dear. A voice croaked from near the bubbling cauldron. I whirled around to see a tiny, hunchbacked old lady limping out from beneath her cover of darkness. Ah, you... You scared me, I answered, placing the book back on the shelf. Scared you? (laughs) Ha! 
Madam Raven did not mean to scare you at all, sweet girl. Or should I say, Madam Raven did not mean to scare you at all, Pixie. The shop is pretty neat. Got anything for sale? I'm really into spooky stories and... Hey, wait a second. How did you know my name? Ha! <laughs> the old lady croaked. Madam Raven knows all, but why are you in my shop? The woman was nearly bald, save for a few brittle wisps of white. She began to furiously scratch at her head with her long, skeletal fingers. And that was when I noticed the deep scabs that decorated her head. Some were healed. Others looked as though they had been opened back up more than once, and a few looked bloated and were a sickly greenish color. I did my best to stifle a gag. Well, I just wanted to look a- No, no, Madam Raven was not asking, just thinking, sweet girl. You are searching, searching for... The old lady spun around and looked into the cauldron. She smelled the smoke that wafted up from the glowing green liquid. Ah, you are searching for a boy. Searching for love. She turned back around and ran over my cheek with the back of her liver-spotted hand. Her touch was bitter cold. Painfully cold. Ah, she started as she gripped my chin. I felt pins and needles in both my hands and feet. I felt her icy touch in my chest, in my lungs. I tried to speak, but my lips felt frozen. I can see him, she finally said, letting go of me. Breathlessly gasping for air, I thought about backing out the door. I thought about running away running home to my bedroom. But still, I was curious. What? What are you? A witch, sweet girl, Madam Raven responded. <laughs> Look at you, she gazed at me with her glazed over eyes, her pupils wandering in different directions. Such a beautiful girl with long brown hair and not a wrinkle in your beautiful skin. I smiled awkwardly. Ah, and you have all your teeth. Madam Raven hasn't had all her teeth for quite some time. She smiled a toothless grin. Her gums were swollen and nearly brown. There was something about her. She was frightening, of course, but at the same time, at the same time, I wanted to sit down with her and have a cup of tea. She cackled to herself. What? I asked. I told you. I can see the boy. He is very handsome. If Madame Raven were a few years younger, she would try her luck. I'm still not sure he knows I exist. I came to this carnival to find him, but I haven't seen... Madam Raven will help you, sweetling. Madam Raven will make sure he notices you. Madam Raven will make sure he falls for your beautiful look. Quick! Quick! Grab the book! The book? The one you picked up earlier, child. Bring it here, the old witch demanded. But there's nothing in it, I protested as I lifted the book from the shelf and opened it. Just as I thought, all the pages were blank. Not to Madame Raven, not to a witch. Madame Raven reached into the pockets of her age-worn robe. Open the book, girl, open it. Yes, yes, now face it to Madame Raven. She must read the ingredient list. Are you making me a love potion? She didn't answer. Instead, she pulled a vial from her pocket and dumped its contents into the bubbling cauldron. Bats drool. Bats drool? I shouted. What the heck? Hush up, Madam Raven commanded. Let an old lady work. This process continued for nearly 30 minutes. 
At the end of it, Madame Raven must have dumped at least 50 different ingredients into the cauldron, stirring it all the while with a wooden ladle. Just as my hands began to tremble from the weight of the tome I was holding up, the old witch shouted, Ah, all done! She took a tiny sip and smiled her toothless grin. So we're going to use a love potion. I felt a twinge of guilt. Sure, I wanted Jaden to like me, but this felt a little cheap. Isn't that kind of like... like cheating or something? I asked. Bah! Boys and men are dumber than dogs. It is up to us to put collars on them and make sure they don't get fleas. I began to giggle. You're right. Madame Raven pulled the ladle out from the cauldron, spooned some of the contents into a clay cup, and handed it to me. I began to blow off some of the steam. No, girl, you must drink it hot! Hot! Closing my eyes, I drained the entire cup in one gulp. It tasted... Incredible, like hot chocolate with whipped cream and marshmallows. So, how long does it take until it kicks in? Eh? Soon, girl, soon. Less than a moment later, I felt a tickle in the back of my throat. As I began coughing, my mouth grew dry. <clears throat> Could I get some water? No water, Madame Raven responded. It was as though I ate sand and washed it down with salt water. I tried to wet my lips, but as soon as I ran my tongue over them, they blistered and cracked. What's happening? I asked. My hands started to ache, and when I lowered my gaze to look at them, I watched as my skin sank and sprouted liver spots. My hands were shriveling up. My skin was thinning, thinning so much that I could nearly see my own bones. I gritted my teeth and felt a loud crunch. And when I reached into my mouth to see what I had bit down on, I realized it was my own tooth. One by one, they were falling out. It suddenly hurt to even stand. It was as though someone was pushing down on my back. What is happening? I tried to yell, but could only muster a whisper. A painful whisper. I grabbed the top of my head and pulled at my hair. Then I looked at my palms. They were covered in brittle white wisps. No! And then I saw it the book that Madame Raven had been reading from. I could see the text. I saw the ingredients that the old witch used in my potion. Then my mouth dropped. I let out a screech of horror. I didn't drink a love potion. <laughs> a voice cackled from the shadows. Standing before me was a young girl, a 14-year-old girl with long, wavy brown hair and hazel eyes standing before me was me. I thought you gave me a love potion, I rasped. No, nope, Madame Raven said, pulling a vial from her pocket. This is a love potion. What you drank was poison, a body-swapping poison to be exact. So you're just going to... going... To take over your body? Yes, exactly. The same thing that an old witch did to me so many years ago. Oh, and best of luck trying to convince anyone that you're supposed to be a 14-year-old girl. You're a monster! I believe it is you who is the monster now, Pixie. Or should I say, Madam Pixie? Hey guys, thank you so much for listening. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. And as always, be nice to each other.